It's time to show our true colors. Sarah and I, when we go anywhere, traveling especially, we're disgusting. Not like gross disgusting, but look at this mess. For some reason we place things everywhere and that's just how we do. We live out of these suitcases for such a short period of time. Well, actually this is pretty disgusting. Coffee cups just sitting by being gross. Should have told me my hair looks ridiculous, but I just bought this pair of shoes from Amazon. It's actually these Adidas, and they're the best-selling shoes on the website, according to the thing that says bestseller. Now, it seems like I've been going through a lot of new shoes, kind of just for video sakes, and I am. But these are canvas, which does make them vegan-friendly, I'm pretty sure, but they are comfortable. They feel pretty good actually, but I definitely need to put some pants on. I've explained this a million times, but I like wider shoes and so far they actually feel comfortable. They seem to have a lot of padding on the sides because Adidas shoes does sort of up the game in technology because they have the resources. Also, there's a trampoline behind me and maybe the best way to test out shoes that are canvas that will tear really easily with grip tape is to skate a board without grip. <laughs> this big thing. That trampoline was like unreal dirty. And I don't want to do that anymore because I'm pretty sure my shoes are slightly ruined and stepping on my skateboard is gonna make my grip tape all ugly. And most people out there who skate knows what that's like and how annoying that is. But I do have a real skateboard so maybe we should try that instead. And I also want to talk about those new Elijah Burrow Vans that I just bought. A lot of people have been asking me about them, the red shoes that I've been skating nonstop and my review of them, which I can give a comprehensive one today because I've been skating them for about four days now and yes. I know a lot of you have probably watched that Alex Jones, Joe Rogan interview. Oh my goodness gracious, my brain is melting. But things like that are so entertaining. They are very, very entertaining. Anyways, I'm gonna test these shoes a little bit. I'm in this area, I was gonna go to a skate park, but I don't feel like dealing with other humans. And I like being in the streets, the streets. So we're just gonna cruise around and try to find stuff. videos on YouTube what do you think I'm gonna say about these shoes they felt fine they were good and actually the amount they've torn up is this much they didn't tear up at all you can't see any marks from skateboarding at all that's a pretty good sign maybe Amazon has something but also a black and white color obviously people are gonna like something that simple you can wear it with anything I guess I'm definitely into it but I'm gonna skate back to the car put on the other shoes and maybe head towards the pier and if it doesn't rain do a little more skating a little more cruising it's one of our last days in Cali we gotta make the most of it Oh, it rained. Well, it's not currently raining, but the shoes that I bought, the new Vans Elijah Burls, what do I think? I'm not gonna lie. They're one of my favorite shoes that I've ever, ever skated. Currently on the hunt for my female companion. They fit crazy snug. They're very wide and there's so much padding on the bottom and the top and there's layer after layer, so they'll last a very long time. Can I get a photo with you? Yeah, of course. Hello, young warrior. Can I talk to you very quickly? This is hilarious, but literally the second I saw Sarah, she goes, I need to tell you something real quick. So I put the camera down. And the second that I said that, the people that she was meeting with that she needed to talk to me before they came in actually just showed up. So now I have no idea what she was gonna tell me and I'm anticipating like crazy. I think it's just the fact that we're gonna eat dinner together, but now I'm walking with her stuff because that's how I roll. I love her, dude. I'd carry anything for her.
So thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed today. There's one thing I wanted to talk about at the end of this video, but yesterday I sort of went on a tirade of a long conversation two days ago, actually, and I was like, I don't want to do the same thing, but I do want to say this. Recently, I've sort of been struggling with the, the, the idea or the fact that sometimes I, I have an opinion and I feel like I'm sort of uh, unrelatable in this situation. And I think most of the time it's because I'm thinking just, I'm, I'm like, on this planet, and most people might be on this planet thinking. And then I found this quote by Albert Einstein that I thought was perfect to end a video with, like I used to end the videos with a quote of the night. And he said, few people are capable of expressing with equanimity opinions which differ from the prejudices of their social environment. Most people are incapable of forming such opinions, basically saying that it is almost impossible or it's very difficult for most people to form any opinions out of what they've learned socially. But I think just based on my social upbringing as well, sometimes arguments are unnecessary for us to have in general because we're not even thinking anywhere in the same realm because of our different upbringings. So I have all these conversations about style not being as important as people say, and a lot of people say style matters. A lot of people say a lot of things that are borrowed opinions from so many other people and for what? I think it's strange, but I think the quote itself by such a brilliant man is an obvious sign that maybe there's more to think than just your initial thought. Think past the first layer of the way that you react to a situation or to politics or something dramatic like that. Stop picking teams and sides with opinions. Stop thinking, well, since I am this way or I am in this category, then I should have the opinions of everyone else in this category. You can think for yourself past all of the initial thought. You can think past what your social environment has created for you and I would advise anyone out there to do so so that you can have an empathetic opinion to share. But I wanted to put that out there because I've been thinking heavily about this and I always fear that the more down this avenue that my brain travels where I try to think of not putting your ego into a conversation will actually make me be less relatable in a lot of ways and I'm scared that it'll put me in this weird place where nobody else shares any similar thought. So I, I guess I'm just trying to uh, let you guys know my opinion so that maybe you can gravitate towards my thought as well so that I can have more friends in this strange world that my brain is exploring. On that note, I will see you every weekday for a new video. Every Tuesday and Thursday are the Planet Melee videos, which is the skate content, which is strictly a skate culture or some form of raw skateboarding. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday are the vlogs, which is just my life, the ex explorations. Today's video, kind of like that. And on that note, I'm obviously very sleepy. We're going to be in New York very soon, which I'm very excited for. I'm not going to lie. And I love you so much. Progress daily and... Keep killing it.